Welcome to the third video in this series on creating atmospheric nighttime visualizations in V-Ray for Rhino. In the previous two videos we focused on the model making of our structure which we're going to be using in this particular render. Now this is complete we're going to start to set up the lighting and environment in our scene. We're going to be using V-Ray to render out this scene and we're going to start by setting up a nice nighttime environment within V-Ray. In order to use V-Ray as your render engine, we're going to start by setting up V-Ray as the current renderer. This can be done in the Render tab at the top of your screen. If you go down to Current Render and click on V-Ray for Rhino, that will then set up V-Ray as the current renderer in this scene. We're then going to open up V-Ray and start to set up this environment. To do this, we're going to go to the Asset Editor, which is found under this little icon here, which looks like a V in a circle or in your V-Ray tab under Asset Editor there. With this now open, we're just going to begin by doing a quick test render of the scene. To do that, we're going to open up the frame buffer, which looks like this window here, and then we're going to hit our interactive renderer to start rendering the viewport that we can see. Now what you'll likely find is everything looks very kind of blown out, we can't really see our structure. If we rotate it around we get a kind of vague glimpse of it here but it's really overexposed and everything's quite white. Now the reason for this is first we haven't got any materials in our scene so everything's quite white there and by default everything is usually a little bit overexposed in V-Ray when you just have it on its kind of native settings. We can tweak this exposure level just in this display corrections option if we select this on the right hand side of our frame buffer and just dial in and out this exposure value. But for now we're going to keep it at 1 because we're going to be switching out this environment for something a lot darker anyway and we can tweak those settings a bit later. So to begin with we're first going to set up the lighting in the scene. Now if we stop our render for the time being and just look in our settings panel in our V-Ray Asset Editor we have this render output setting here which determines the size of our render that we're going to be working on. This also determines the aspect ratio, which we've got below. Now for now, I'm going to leave this as it is, which is just the kind of default amount, which is good for testing the render because it's quite low in its resolution. But when we go to render out our final image later on in this video, we're going to be upping this up to a higher amount, which we can get a kind of high quality render from. So first thing we want to do is tweak the environment of this scene. And this can be found in the environment tab in my settings. So I'm just going to drop that down to see what we have set up here. Now, as we can see, we've got this little background environment and this has a little blue square next to it. And what that means is it's currently using a texture to determine what this background is. Now we can find out what that texture is by going up to our texture slot in our asset editor here. And here you'll find an environment texture. Now if we click on it, you'll see nothing happens at first, but actually in V-Ray, there are many more settings hidden away in these little tabs on the left and right hand side of your asset editor. And if we open this one up on the right, we can then see the environment map we've got there. And it's currently got the kind of default environment that you're using in the scene. Now I actually don't want this environment anymore. I want to switch this for something else. So what I'm gonna do to start with is go back to the settings and we're just gonna clear it from this slot. So I'm just going to right click on there and hit clear. What this would do is if I then render the scene, it's then going to be pitch black. We can't see anything now, even if I start to rotate around. And that's because we haven't got anything lighting up that environment. I currently have no lights on in the scene. And if you go into the lights panel, you'll see this Rhino document sum, but it's actually turned off. If I turn it on, we actually will get a light in the scene, lighting up by the sun. But for this view, we're not actually going to be using a sunlight because we're going to have an evening image anyway. So we're going to just be using an environment map to light this scene up. So what we're now going to do is we're going to bring in a new environment map to replicate the night and the nighttime kind of atmosphere that we want to convey in this image. So to do that, we're first going to find an environment texture online that we can use. I'm going to be using Polyhaven as a website to find this environment texture and this is a really good resource for any sort of 3D modeling or visualization assets that you need to find. They're all completely free and here under HDRIs you can find really good environment textures that we can use in scenes such as this. 
I found that actually for nighttime scenes, sometimes it's not the best to use a nighttime HDRI because these can often be a little bit grainy due to the fact that they're very kind of low light levels in these environments. So actually what I'm going to do is we're going to go on the outdoor settings and I'm going to find one of the HDRIs and this one works quite well, this industrial sunset, which is quite blue in tone. The reason you want it to be quite blue is because we want to kind of reduce that light down and have this kind of nice blue nighttime light coming through. So we're going to select this one here and we're just going to download it. I'm going to keep it at around a 2K size. You can have it larger if you want to, but for my particular render, I don't want it to be super slow. So we're going to just keep it at 2K and hit download there. Now I've actually already downloaded this into a folder. So what we're going to do is once you've downloaded it, we're then going to import it into our V-Ray panel. So going back here, we're going to create a new asset, just going down to the bottom left here, create a new texture, and we're going to create a bitmap. And a bitmap is just a general kind of placeholder for any image texture you're using in your scene. We're then going to select that industrial sunset image and hit open. And here you can see a little preview of this image. Now when you import this in, by default it will just import in as a flat image, but actually all of these HDRIs found on Polyhaven are actually spherical images and you can kind of see little 3D previews here and you can actually click on this 3D option to get a little 3D preview of the scene which we can pan around. And what this would do is actually if you import it into your scene as an environment or a a spherical kind of 3D image, it will wrap around your whole scene and light it up as if you were in this specific location. So in order to set up this image to act in that spherical manner, we need to go to the texture placement options and scroll down to the type and click on environment. And here you'll see it sets it up as a spherical mapping. Once that's done, we can hit the copy to copy that bitmap. You might want to rename it as sky here. And then we're going to go back to our settings, go back to the environment, and under that texture slot, we're going to paste it as an instance, which will mean it will be a direct copy of the texture we've dropped in there. Once that's in, we can then open up our render again, and you can see that now my scene is relit using that background. We can see the background behind the object here. Now we don't need to worry too much about that backdrop because I'm going to be switching that out later. All you want to worry about is the color of the light you've got in the scene and the brightness of this. Now currently for my nighttime render, it's actually a little bit bright. I'd say it's kind of slightly too bright for this scene because I'm using essentially a sunset image here. So if you want to lower down the brightness of this, we can open up our asset editor here and under this background value, you can see there's a little value of one there. Now if we lower this down to a 0.5, for instance, it will just darken up the scene and just lower the brightness of that particular environment map that we're using. I'm going to put this one down to 0.3 or 0.2 just to get it looking kind of nice and dusky. So we've got a little bit of light on one side, but it's a nice sort of blue overall tone to the light there. And we're just going to minimize this and we can now see that my render is being lit up nicely by that environment. So that is essentially the basics to adding a new environment in your scene and setting up that base level of the lighting. We're going to end this video here on environment lighting and in the next video we're going to start to look up how we can set our camera in our scene to convey the kind of shot that we want to take in this image. We're going to be changing the aspect ratio and also the kind of focal lengths of this camera to best portray the type of image we want for this particular visualization. So thank you for watching this video and in the next one we'll be going through camera tricks and setting up cameras in the scene. See you in the next video.